Okay, so I'm back. Um, I have my hair up today because I'm really hot for whatever reason. Also, um, I think I'm quite out of cold. Anyway, um, I'm much better than I was. I actually, um, enrolled in a few classes, but I, like, gradually dropped out because it wasn't, like, a college class. It was, like, you go to a library and take classes. Anyway, um, I had to, like, drop out a few of them because my stomach is, like, really bad for whatever reason. Um, well, most of you know why, but, but you're a little house syndrome. So, next one, I'm going to see a gastroenterologist. Maybe they'll tell me something that has to do with my kidneys or, or something. Um, so, everyone's been saying I have to do the no contact thing. Well, I just did the reverse, and, you know, I had to call Mr. McLeaver's, well, I called them, just to say hi. Um, this doesn't need to be, like, enemies, or, you know, because, well, no, I have this really, uh, habit of thinking about the time soon when no one listened to me and they get themselves stuck in a situation so i'm thinking about that lately and you know i'm not gonna get into the details but um it's enough to make me forget you know like certain things that that person did um because it, it's just really funny but anyway oh and i had to call my doctor today um my regular doctor because um I found out that uh, Ambien not only makes you um, sleepwalk, it makes you sleep uh, eat. Um, what else? Oh, and you basically, um, like you, you go on the computer while you're sleeping, your eyes will be like sort of rolled up or whatever, and you could be like, um, um, I guess doing stuff on, like, Facebook or whatever, you know. My thing is, um, I asked my doctor if that it causes, like, writing poetry. Because I used to be a writer, well, for the most part. And he says, yeah, he has a few patients that take, um, Ambien and they will do all kinds of stuff. They have to be monitored, so. <laughs> I swear my whole life should be like, um, best-selling novel. Anyway, um, that's about it. I was thinking about forming a book club slash, like, um, ghost hunting thing. You know, like, you meet up with a few people. And then, you know, either you want to talk about a book. Or we take our cameras and go to, like, slightly creepy places. Um, but it doesn't have to be at, like, night because, um, one of my hobbies is photography. So, I used to take, um, weird things. But even when I was taking a picture of nature, I would get these, like, orbs, and a lot of people would say, you know, or my mom's boyfriend, he would say it's the lens reflecting off the light. Now, here's the, the weird thing with that dilemma. Okay, if I'm taking a picture, and this sounds perverted, but, <laughs> but I'm, I'm taking a picture, and there's lots of circles going around where my lens is, then all of a sudden I got, like, this nice sunset thing and then um there'd be like an orb like way far from the reflection of the lens would be so i mean i have lots of those to even back up my what i'm saying but and i thought like maybe <coughs> and there's my dog <laughs> so um yeah i had that idea but who knows what, if anyone would want to join eh, fuck it Maybe I'll get myself. <laughs> anyway, um, that's been another edition of I Love You. So I'm going to be sick. And we'll leave you with my dog's
Sammy barking at the grass.